Morning guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com and also TrierWildernessAcademy.com. I hope you guys are doing good this morning. I'm going to wait a little bit and let a bunch of you get on here and then I'm excited to share today's topic with you. Good morning, Chad. I'm a little late. <laughs> morning, Tammy. Morning, Holly. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. I'm sorry I'm a little late. I came back from our walk and it was really warm out there. So I needed to uh, get myself a fresh squeezed lemonade and get a shower. It was hot. It was 97 yesterday and it's supposed to be 98 today, so it's pretty warm out here. But I know many of you are suffering from even hotter temperatures, so um, what are the temps where you guys are? And I can't wait to share today's topic with you. I am looking for something real quick here, but share with me how hot it is in your neck of the woods. And I also want to share with you guys, you all know that we live off-grid. And um, I just turned the air conditioner off. It gets too cold in my office because it's blowing. It's like right there and it's blowing on me. But it goes down and, and the cold drops, so it keeps the house nice and cool. We also have another air conditioner downstairs. And um, yesterday we had both air conditioners going, the washing machine going, and I was vacuuming. So I don't ever want you guys to think that when you're off grid, you have to go without. Okay. I figured it's about the same for most of you guys, temperature-wise. Holly says 80, and Chad says about the same in Salt Lake. I figured. I love I love summer. I love the seasons. Um, I don't handle the heat as well as I used to since my surgery, and the mountain man does not handle the heat well um, as he's getting older. Good morning, George. I am so excited. I have been decluttering like a wild woman. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'll just give you a small glimpse of what is directly around me here. It is like clutter everywhere. I'm going to spin around. My desk is loaded with things to get rid of. And then I've got some packages going out can't turn my phone while recording it's telling me so I guess I better keep it straight and flip it back around my phone is scolding me that's funny okay but I mean I got stuff stacked all around me I my downstairs is stacked yesterday yeah no the day before yesterday I washed 11 empty totes those are 11 empty totes from our yard sale that is so awesome I got rid of 11 totes of stuff and it feels so good and I'm still getting rid of stuff um, every day. So it feels really, really awesome. And in turn, I have unleashed my creativity. And it's really wild and really exciting for me because I've always been into doing unique things, refinishing furniture, um, doing leather work, doing all kinds of craft type things, um, and just repurposing and redoing things. And... Um, that has come back and I'm so excited. <laughs> I will pass that along to Mountain Ben, Rachel. <laughs> Good morning. Um, it's just a great feeling when that creativity returns and I'm sure many of you can relate to that. You kind of feel like your joy has gone. You wonder why you aren't interested in things and um, not sure where to find your joy. Oh my goodness, when you start getting rid of stuff and there's less clutter and less things to uh, just clog your mind, clog your space, um, it's amazing. A couple years ago, I bought a pie cupboard, an old pie cupboard with the tin sides and the tin, tin punch tin on the doors. It's a really pretty piece. It ended up in the mountain boy's room. Um, the intention was to help him organize things, but it actually, I don't feel it, it was a good choice of furniture. It was too big, and it enabled him to just keep filling it with stuff. So I'm claiming it back, and I um, he's getting a dresser, and I'm claiming that back. And I had stripped that wood down um, with a um, paint stripper and 
right down to the natural wood and just have the tin on it. Well, now I've decided I'm going to use my milk paint that I have and paint that and use that in my kitchen for right now to store my cast iron and some of the things that don't have a home till we are in our new place. So, And I'm also going to refinish my butcher block table that I have downstairs. And I found this, and this is really unique. And Rachel, you're going to love this. Those of you that know me know that I love hearts and I see hearts everywhere. Every one of you on here I think knows that. And this is actually my baby bracelet. And I just thought that was hysterical that God started my my world off with something with a heart. And I want to use this in some way. So what I've decided I'm going to try to do is have a jeweler turn that into a ring. I can't afford to do that now. But that was what my creative mind decided to do when I was going through my jewelry box yesterday. Um, my computer was acting up. I needed to do some maintenance on my computer. So I cleaned out my jewelry box. I cleaned out my closet. And I cleaned out the bulk of my office. What you see left is stuff that's going to just move. We're getting ready for Pat's birthday party. I'll finish watching. I'm reading one of these real quick here. You as well have a great day. Give Pat a big uh, hug for me and, and wish him a happy birthday for me. Thanks, George. We'll catch you on another one then. And um, yeah, isn't that cool, Holly? I just thought that was so neat. So I don't know. It's just a neat feeling when you declutter. I got rid of about this much space or things in my closet. I have this much space now to move on the bar in my closet. It's so easy to have things in there for a long period of time, things that don't fit. I got some um, different types of shirts uh, when I was going through my surgery that I don't wear anymore. And everything I buy is from the thrift store. So, um, and or gifted to me. And uh, for 50 cents for clothing, sometimes it's worth getting, you know, the extra items. We go through clothing very much out here with the tree sap and just the hard work we do. But to be able to gift that clothes to somebody else, to downsize, to eliminate, is just such a great feeling. So I really want to encourage you guys to do that. But I do want to mention that when you take on a project like this, because I am not just like leisurely doing this at this point. I am diving into my whole house. And I will say, it's very overwhelming at times, especially the pace that I have to do this in. Um, but at the same time, that pace is forcing me to just pitch, which is good and which is exciting to me because um, along with doing this, I've been going down memory lane. I had my first apartment at 18 and I still had things from my first apartment. Uh, a lot of my kitchen things were from when I was 18. Um, some of the decorations I had were from when I was 18, so it was time to uh, let go of some of these things, but it was just kind of fun, and I think I mentioned it last week, but I'm not sure. Um, one of the days uh, we went through my CD collection, which is extremely vast, very, very vast, and very funny. Um, grew up in the 80s, and you know, you got the collection of the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s in there, and then into the 90s, so it was quite funny. Um, but it's a good trip. It's a good time. And something else that I want to express to you guys that I feel is extremely important. Um, when you clear out, the reason you become creative is because you're also clearing your head. N people don't realize how much stuff holds us bondage. And it really, really does. It holds us bondage. And when you clear that space, you can think better. You can concentrate better. Um... It's just an, it's an interesting concept, interesting feeling, and like I said, you don't realize that this stuff is doing this to you until you start really unloading. And I've talked about this before, and I was aware of this, but boy, when you really clean house, it's quite something. Uh, I understand why a lot of people are choosing to live in tiny homes and very simplistically, which is where we are headed, and I am just so excited. But what happens when you clear your head is that um, how many of you try to pray, and when you pray, it's like you're constantly chasing squirrels? It was so hard, and sometimes in church, I imagine some of you go through this too, where you're trying to concentrate, but life is investing its time in your head, and you're squirreling there too. Well, yesterday, I went for a walk, and I spent that entire walk with God. And the other thing is, you see so much more. 
you're so much more present in your life and that in and of itself is huge. So there's so many benefits, not just that the level of creativity um, and, and how decluttering enables that, but what it does for you all the way through from a physical, mental, spiritual, the whole way through. So I very highly encourage you guys if you feel you're living in abundance, if you're living in clutter, to slowly and strategically make a plan. You guys know I use Evernote. So in Evernote, create a, a note of how you're going to strategically attack your home. Whether it's one room at a time, whether it's a section of a room at a time, you know what you're capable of, you know what stresses you out. But start making that list. And if you're not familiar with Evernote, you can go to tryyourwilderness.com slash Evernote and join for free. It is a note um, application that you can use on your um, desktop, laptop, and then also on any of your smartphones. And it syncs, so it keeps you present wherever you are with all your necessary information. Good morning, Charles. So I highly encourage... <laughs> Chad likes Evernote. Good deal. I, I would never lead you astray, I'm telling you. that Evernote has saved my life because when I was sick, I could not remember things to save my life. And they would enter my head, and as soon as they were there, they were gone. So if I didn't quickly record it in Evernote, I would not have been able to keep up. So I definitely want to encourage you guys to create a note and slowly and strategically declutter your home. I would never encourage you to do it the way I am right now because this is insanity. <laughs> but it's getting the job done. So I will also have some YouTube videos coming out of the Mountain Man and Mountain Ben doing some things here. Um, I've been struggling trying to keep up with everything um, and get those videos edited mainly. I've been getting the videos recorded. I just can't get them edited and out there. So, um, and also join us on Patreon. Uh, we will be sharing behind the scenes stuff that I won't be sharing on YouTube because, um, just not knowing our circumstances, I don't want to share the whole layout of my home with the whole world. But if you are interested in joining us on Patreon, you will be able to see a lot more there. The link is below. And there are a lot of links below today. Um, one of the things I want to mention is when I was out on my walk today, um, you can heavily smell smoke. Uh, for us in the Pacific Northwest, it is uh, not uncommon this time of year to start uh, having to be concerned with the wildfires. It gets very dry. People are careless. Most of the fires are started by humans. Um, just not thinking things through. Um, if you're driving a four-wheeler, be careful that you're not leaving it sitting in dry grass too long. Your equipment is hot and it will ignite a fire. Uh, we've had a couple situations out here over the last couple years that we've had to put out fires. So just be careful when you're out there. Uh, you know, Smokey the Bear's out there and it says low, medium, and high. And a lot of people laugh that off and don't really have to be concerned with that. But you should be. Um, your care when you're out camping can uh, save lives or it could also kill lives, you know, uh, and kill people. Um, we we experienced it this fall when things were still real dry and there wasn't a lot of rain that a hunting camp set up out about, I don't know, an, a mile from us. And they pulled out in the morning and their fire was still burning. You could actually see flames. And we had to go over and put it out because they weren't smart enough to put their fire out before they left. So, And it was a windy day. So had we not gone out, we may have been burned out of here because of carelessness. So just be really careful. Good morning, Michelle. But it is that time of year. There is a smell of uh, fire burning. So um, I wrote a really informative post on wildfires a couple of years back um, giving you instructions on things to think of because people don't think of this stuff um, you can find the post at treyerwilderness.com slash wildfires but we have a list in Evernote again um, with the things that we would need to load on our trailer to rebuild and assist us in starting from scratch if a fire came fast and we had time to get out 
if we didn't have time to get out and we just had a grab and go, we also have a list of things that would be necessary for us to get and get out of here with. Or if we're aware of fires in the area or it becomes this time of year, we just start, you know, being aware of where those things are and be prepared. Um, about four years ago, we had our gooseneck trailer loaded and in position to be pulled straight out of the driveway so that there was no messing around, turning it around and... Uh, that there was no time wasted because we live in a, in a place where there's only one way out and we are gated in here. So if we don't take every second as an opportunity, um, we may end up sitting in the river that's half a mile, mile away from us with wool blankets over our head till it passes because that would be our only option. So, you know, Regardless where you're at, this does pertain to you. Um, there were fires that went through these towns out here in the 1920s that just took out everything, town and all. So, I mean, we're, we are completely surrounded by tall timbers, and this is a timber area and a uh, logging area. So it's just really important that people in the Pacific Northwest are really paying attention. I know there are fires all over the country, though, as well. So I want to encourage you... There is a link um, down below for treyerwilderness.com slash wildfire alerts. And you can go on the internet and select your location and select how many mile radius around your location you want to be alerted. Um, yes, the big burn, exactly, Chad. And uh, that, that burned up so many acres uh, oh my goodness, that was just incre a cr incredible fire. And every time we go to somewhere in Idaho that is a historic area, we get little uh, more bits and pieces of the fire story, regardless where we are. It was just such a huge radius that that fire took out. Big trees, too. But um, be sure to go to the Wildfire Alerts website and sign up for that so that you are alerted if you're in an area that has high fire hazards. Um, and be prepared. Be sure to read over that blog post. I'm going to share that today on Facebook. But it's really important that you think of the things you need. You think of everything. You know, a lot of people buzz out and get out of the place and not take their medications or their important paperwork. Or, you know, there's just certain things that you could quickly grab and go. And there are things that you're going to need. So... Do check that out and do sign up for the alerts. Um, I really want to encourage you to be um, proactive on that because fires move fast. If you've ever experienced them, it's some pretty crazy stuff. So I'm also excited. I've got habanero plants coming up and I've got red chilies. So if I don't get any other canning done this year, I am going to get my hot sauce made and my hot mustard made. So we will have condiments through the winter for sure. I do have a lot of chili sauce left from last year and a ton of pickles, so uh, we won't starve, um, that's for certain. But I'm going to try to can as much as I can through this process. I'm just not sure where we're going to be. So how many of you have experienced decluttering and, have, and keep things in an organized fashion? Um, Michelle knows me best. I can't function when there is a lot of clutter around me, and you just saw what my office looks like. So it it was pretty, and this is nothing compared to what it looked like yesterday. So getting that stuff out of the way, getting my space back, at least till we're living out of a whatever. <laughs> I'm just trying to cope and be as productive as possible. But. I really encourage you guys to take on the decluttering because it is a really healthy process and something that I feel you guys will truly benefit from. As well as the ener um, the inspiration I've been getting, I also have water kefir going. I have a batch of kombucha going. I'm actually creating the mother. I did not have the mother or the scoby, but um, I created my tea, uh, the black tea. And I dumped in a thing of GT's uh, organic kombucha, and it's been uh, fermenting for four weeks, and the mother is probably about that thick right now. So it's coming along nicely, so then I can start doing my kombucha. So it's amazing what you can do when you've got chaos in your life. <laughs> 
Working on a major declutter now. Very freeing. It is. It's very freeing. It's really nice when you eliminate all the excess. Oh, nice, Chad. He does it twice a year. I've done it since I was a kid. That is so smart. So, so smart. Kudos to you. We should have been following you. <laughs> but I really want to encourage you guys to embark on that. To even a minute level of decluttering if it's something that's overwhelming to you but I encourage you to just take it slow and work your way through it because when you go through the excess and get rid of the excess um, life really opens up for you and to be able to think clear be healthier um, so and so important um, I, I, I don't know. There's nothing more I can say. I think that that's just an important process that we all need to go through. And Chad's got it knacked twice a year. <laughs> the other thing is make sure you guys are rehydrating and hydrating well. And what you're putting your beverages in is important also. I use either glass or stainless steel or pottery. Notice I've got my stainless, st stainless steel straw. <laughs> Slow down, Tam. And um, I'll either use that or paper, but I prefer the stainless steel. And also, to keep your exercise up, guys, I've been walking every day since, hmm, every day except Sunday. Occasionally Sundays I will walk. It depends if the mountain man will join me or not, or if I'm crafting or doing a project. Um, those are my project days. But um, I can't express to you how healthy I feel and how good it feels. And early morning walks are really awesome, especially if you have dogs, because it gets too warm for them and they overheat. So I have just been thoroughly enjoying my morning walks. Um, the fresh air, the different smells, the fawns. I mean, there's just been so much to see on, on my walks. And it's just something that I thoroughly enjoy. And I want to encourage you guys to remember to be good to yourself because summer gets crazy. Kids are home. Uh, we're trying to cram 10 pounds of stuff in a 5-pound bag, right? So slow it down. Keep yourself hydrated. Get to sleep and get good sleep. That's something that we haven't been doing the last couple days. It's been pretty crazy. Uh, so I've got to get back on that routine and see how things shuffle. Um, Things do very thoroughly shuffle in our lives from season to season. And it's really important that we realize when we're getting off track. So don't forget to um, get out, be good to yourself. Decluttering is good for yourself. And just keeping yourself healthy, eating well um, on this fast busy schedule isn't always the easiest but it's very important to me so I'm always making sure I'm eating well as a matter of fact my home smells like an elk roast right now because I cook it during the night um, so the house doesn't get too hot during the day and I cook it all night long on low heat and it just falls apart in the morning Michelle said how do you clean the stainless steel straws like do you have a sort of brush yes there is a brush that came along with the straws that I got and it fits right in there it's long you do have to go from one side, you know, do one side and then do the other side. But yes, um, they're easy to clean. Uh, they don't get real grungy and dirty, which is really nice. And you can also boil them if you need to. So that's also another plus. I don't use Clorox or any chemicals in the house. So um, boiling is my next best option. But um, definitely consider those things. I have eliminated plastic. I have eliminated aluminum, Teflon. Um, I know there's other things I've eliminated, but we mainly cook from cast iron, stainless steel, and pottery. And then I store my food in glass. Um, for those of you that are local that might be watching, I am getting rid of 72 regular mouth canning jars. So uh, those are on our yard sale right now. Um, if you haven't joined the yard sale, you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash yard sale and you will be taken to the group. You just have to join. Um, those I'm not shipping. So if you're local, you'll be able to take part in that. Sorry, guys. For those of you that are in other states, um, I like to use the wide mouth jars. For one, if I use them for leftovers or anything, even putting my canning my meats 
anything I'm canning, it's easy to get in and out. And I've got small hands. I can stick my hand in there and clean these jars out really well, unlike the regular mouth jars. And um, I just have decided I, I'm going to uh, completely get rid of the regular mouse and just use the wide mouse for my canning. So my downsizing and decluttering is in your favor. So those are just a couple tips I wanted to share with you today. Uh, like I said, I've totally gotten rid of plastic in our household because, and aluminum and different things like that because it leaches in your food. And since my illness, my eyes have been open to so, so much. And we are just trying to have a really clean household. So it's all a process. It's just like decluttering. As you're decluttering, you can start switching over. I do a lot of thrift store shopping, so that's where my things come from. We're very frugal. And like I said, when I was decluttering, it was actually kind of funny. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot that we've purchased. Uh, with having an apartment at 18, I had a lot of the essentials. Only invest, yeah, smart, Chad. Um, I just like the wide mouse so much more. But I was given and collected a conglomeration. And last night or the night before, I sorted through all of those. And I have six dozen regular mouse. There's probably more on my shelf, but that's what I had that were empty. So... It's definitely a good choice to invest in the wide mouse. I just like them so much more just for their ease of use. So I know your time is valuable, so I won't keep you guys any longer today. It's the summer months, so get out there and play. I'm going to get out to town one of these days and rollerblade. I had them the other day, but I forgot to grab socks. So it won't be long. I'm going to be on the track with those soon. What baking sheets and pans do you buy? I have all stainless steel. And I use um, non-bleached parchment paper also when I'm baking and cooking to uh, eliminate cleanup. And you can also um, use that similar to aluminum foil. But I use stainless steel. I'll put links in the description a little later, Holly, for those. I also use my bread pans are either stainless steel or cast iron. Um, it's, a, it's a good investment when you switch over. Um, they'll last for forever and um, so much better for your health. But I'm going to say a quick prayer for you guys. Dear Jesus, I just ask that you bless these people, those that are watching now and those that watch later. And Lord, just strengthen them for their journey, for their week, for what they're experiencing. Give them strength and um, just help heal those that are in need. And Lord, just continue to guide us on our day-to-day -day walk. Strengthen us and just help us and open our minds. Allow us to declutter both our homes and our minds. And just be more present in our lives and find our joy. And Lord, I just ask that you keep your hand of safety on all of our friends. And uh, be with them and wrap your loving arms around them this week. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. One of the other things I have to share this with you that I have very close at hand now is all my art supplies. Um, I'm not sure if you saw it when I was moving the um, camera around earlier, but I have two old trunks that I store things in, and then I have some old containers. I'm going to try to reach this here quick. This is a really neat old container, and I think what they stored in it was essential oils at one time because it had quite the odor in it when I got it. Um, I put baking soda in it for a while and, and that eliminated that. It needs to, the hinge needs to be repaired, but I have all of my colored pencils and my watercolors in this and I think I paid like a dollar or two for this, but it's just unique and it stores my things really nicely and I just, I don't like, like I said, I don't like clutter, so it makes it really easy and also easy to grab it and go if I want to go outside or I want to go downstairs or whatever. But I want to start watercoloring, and um, I like to do pencil art, and I found something really awesome to do with um, animal skulls. And I know that sounds funny. We have, let's spin this around, see if I can spin this around quick. <laughs> I'm plugged in. Hang on a second here. Oh, there you go. You can see that. Mountain Ben cleaned that up real nice for me this year. That was the buck I shot this year. Um, but I'm going to do some uh, black ink on some skulls and on some shoulder bones. And I like doing black ink on rocks, too. I know that sounds funny, but I'm going to like start using my creative juices and just doing unique things 
just for fun and it's not like we have a lot of spare time but Sundays is our day where we do not work we just play we'll play games we'll go out for a ride we'll go for hikes we'll work on things that we oops sorry enjoy doing and I found a pair of one of my Minnetonka moccasins remember those nice moccasins that we'd wear with no soles and that would just tie at our ankles the inside liner started to dry rot and crumble, so I'm actually taking them apart to use them as a pattern to make myself a new pair. Bring the 80s back, right? <laughs> yes, heart rocks. Yes. Oh my gosh, you ought to see my collection. I think I said last week that's something that I'm not ready to part with. I'm going to use that in a flower bed or something, but I think I have like two um, office paper boxes full of rocks. I started just taking pictures of them. I have been doing good. I'm just taking pictures and not collecting them unless they are really, really unique. But yes, I'm going to do all kinds of neat stuff. So I'll show you what I'm starting to do. Um, it's just good that when you're going through chaos that you also remember to be good to yourself. Um, take time for yourselves. Love each other. And, and just pull together. You can't change the way things are sometimes, but the one thing that you can concentrate on is being good to yourselves and the ones closest to you. And, you know, through the process, when things fall apart and there's no recovery, there's no return, and there's nothing more you can do, there's no sense killing yourself either, right? I was thinking about that, Chad. Chad said, heart rocks with black ink and sell them online. Would you believe that there are people selling pet rocks on Amazon for real I know somebody who bought one just to be funny I didn't know that they were doing that and they actually enable you to name them and things it's pretty crazy somebody is making out very well <laughs> and was very smart so yes I think I might do that some creative Aztec designs or I don't know I'll come up with something but guys thank you for joining me today keep your creative juices flowing do a little decluttering. Remember to be good to yourself and look out for the wildfires for those of you that are in uh, troubled areas. Don't forget to be present and, and being, be paying attention. So guys, have a fantastic day. Enjoy your summer and I will see you next Wednesday. Take care guys. God bless.